Welcome builders, Andy is Jordi here. Welcome to another 5x5 five five tutorial. This is a 17x17 17 17 space and it is a Minecraft tavern. So this is an amazingly detailed build, a Minecraft tavern. I really love the look of this place. It has been designed by me and Shuzilla and Uki and Bluetooth and Potato Skin and Pat. We did a great job, I think, in designing it. I've got four versions of it here, all exactly the same. So you can see the back of the tavern here with plenty of detail. You can see the right hand elevation here, uh, including this little exterior staircase very exciting indeed here's the front of the tavern and here's the left hand elevation uh, as well absolutely in love with this building it all fits into the 17 by 17 area we have crammed a lot in for example there's a little storeroom in here and then through here is a little dormitory as well I actually might be making this bit a little bit just simpler like that, I think that looks a lot, lot better as well. Might do the same here. And then through here we have a stables, very simple stables, a little water trough, and then into the actual tavern um, as well, up here, through here, and this is where you would get served your beer at the bar. And this is places where you could sit and eat um, your scotch egg and all your beer. And this is a place to chill out, have a kind of a semi-outdoor uh, beer drinking area and then through here we have a little private room for the person who owns the inn as well and then through here we have a fireplace and then this is the actual bar area as well as well plenty of space to prepare your scotch eggs and sandwiches and all your beers and a little platform here to serve them uh, as well but sneakily sneakily we've got an amazing upstairs external staircase and then through here we've managed to fit in not one not two, this is a double, but actually <clears throat> three rooms. I didn't see that, Pat. That's sneaky. Th no, four rooms. We've got four rooms, each with a window here. So extra uh, hospitality up the top there. An amazing, amazing place. Plus, we've got some variations to show you at the end um, that these guys have designed over here. But first of all, let's get building this. So first of all, we're going to need uh, to set out the flooring. So you're gonna need some podzo, some coarse dirt, polished Andy's Eurosite. I've used beehives, you don't have to. And I've used some Ocus woodus plancus. So um, in this area here, basically from here to here, it's gonna be a mixture of oak wood and beehives. Over here, it's gonna be uh, polished. And the other side. Like that. There we go. Oops, not you. And then over here is going to be a mixture of podzol and coarse dirt. So, yeah, let's get that done. Okay, that's been done. Um, if you don't like the beehives, then upside down barrels works quite well. Or you could use some spruce planks as well for a good mixture. Now we're gonna do the back and the side wall. For that, we're gonna need some chiseled polished blackstone, some smokers and some iron bars, and then a mixture of all these blocks here. Cracked stairs, mossy stairs, stone bricks, and ordinary stone bricks. And this mixture will depend on how random you are with your placement of these blocks because it is a random selection of all these different colors and textures that you're going to be using so the basic look is like this one two three one two three four five six these ones actually need to be smokers like that and what i've done with these smokers is i've actually faced them in the way like that so that from the outside you don't see the kind of the pillar box there you just see that and it's a nice blend as well so the basic structure goes like this with iron bars in between and that needs to be done all the way around but 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 and it's a very big but you are best advised to mix in some cracked and mix in some mossy and that's going to be down to your own artistic ability to mix these blocks in you can even have some mossy ones as the stairs also okay so go ahead and do that all the way around there 
So now we need to get uh, the inner walls done. And I've actually made a bit of an improvement over here. I didn't like the way these sat on the outside. So I think if we take that out and that out and put barrel there and barrel there, then it doesn't look too bad from the outside. Hardly noticeable, actually. So then we can take away these like that and then just put them on the inside like that. We're going to need to move the wall as well. Sorry, the door. But doesn't that look a bit better? Yeah, much, much better. You could even put the door there if you want for a bit of a flusher feel, but that is hardly noticeable. So that's what we're going to be doing right there. And then over here, we're going to do a, a window like that. I love this window. It's so, so cool. So you're going to need to grab yourself some spruce trap doors and some oak trap doors. I've also got a jungle door uh, as well. So let's get this done. So we're going to have chiseled, polished blackstone in these spots as normal. Let's get these bits done um, first. So we're doing this one over here. So we start off with just some ordinary stone bricks on the base and kind of just frame it. Oops, <laughs> don't, want, don't want into the smoker like this. So a nice little frame like that. And there we go. Boom, like that. So we need to do exactly the same thing um, over here as well. So one, two, three. Again, you could do a better job than me and mix in maybe some cracked ones as well. Like that's going to look a lot, lot better. And then one, two, three, four, like that. So we'll disguise those uh, at the back in a minute, but let's get the rest of this done. So um, that's a gap there. That's a gap there. And this is a normal wall here. So let's just actually fill this in right up to the top. And again, I'm going to mix in maybe just a couple of mossy ones just like that. That looks pretty good. And then a couple of mossy ones here as well. We're trying to get up to this height. We're trying to get up to this height like that. So that creates a little door there into the stables. A little door here into the dormitory, remember? And that goes across like that. Oh, I guess we need a wall right here between the dormitory and the storeroom like that. Keep it a nice clean, uncracked, unmossy wall since it's interior. That goes across like that. And then that forms that little doorway just like that. There we go. So <clears throat> over here, I did put um, a horse trough somewhere to drink from. And I used some sandstone. Here we go. Some normal sandstone to form that trough as well. You could put water into that. And then I'm going to put these spruce trap doors there like that and that just bursts out there and they're going to get an oak trap door and put it right there so same thing is going to happen uh, across here apart from we're going to need some barrels for this bit here because they kind of share a corner so let's grab a barrel Oops. And then the rest of it is pretty much uh, just the same. They can go, that can go, and that ends up like that. See, hardly noticeable, hardly noticeable. And then that one becomes uh, your choice of door, like that. And that is that wall complete. There we go. We've got a bit of an issue here with a gap here, but we'll cleverly disguise that later on in the build. We've got storeroom. We've got our dormitory. We may as well grab our choice of room divider here. We've got to divide off between the stables um, along here and the dormitory. So I'm going to go for this beautiful dark oak. Absolutely love that. Look at that. So nice. So nice. Right, well, well done if you've managed all that. Place is really taking shape. Um, now we're going to grab some more ingredients, get some flooring and uh, the next section done. So get into your inventory bar, some stripped oak logs, oak stairs, spruce trap doors, lecterns. I need about six lecterns, I think, and stripped spruce logs and spruce slabs and oak slabs and spruce stairs. 
So what you want to do is come across here just to actually form a bit of flooring like that. Uh, same over here, we'll bring this up. There we go, ready for flooring. Now in this section here, we're going to go for um, spruce slabs, upper slabs. Look really cool from underneath, as you can see when you look up. Looks really nice. Obviously, we cannot place any here. And this is where we've been very, very sneaky uh, indeed to cover over that gap. The rest of this place is covered up simply with Ocus woodus slabus, like this. So if you'd like to download everything I build, everything we've built, really, from 2019, 2020, and into 2021, check me out on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Andy is your dad. We'll have schematics for all our builds as well, like that. And you can also join my private Discord channels and build with me in live streams. So check it out, patreon.com forward slash Andy is your If you want to download everything I build in Bedrock Edition or in Java Edition, that's Windows 10 Bedrock Edition. Okay, great. So what we want to do now is bring some of these oak logs up. So it's one, two, three, um, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four and over here as well. One, two, three, four. four. Um, do we have one in the middle? I think we do. One, two, three, four. And then we definitely have some right here. Like that. Pretty straightforward. And then we're going to just seal the deal right here as well across all of these. In fact, that one we don't put in. Sorry, my apologies. And uh, that one we do. We do there. And these ones we definitely do as well. There we go. And that one goes across there like that. Pretty straightforward. Um, let's design a little bit of this bar area here, the kind of open air bar with some upside down spruce stairs just there. Pretty straightforward. And then we're going to form the actual bar of upper Ocus woodus slabus with some beautiful stripped oak log in between like that. And then I'm going to finish this off with a couple of trap doors just for a smidgen of detail on the side just there. Looks great so far. Your six lecterns are going to go here. Oops, like that. Obviously not there. <laughs> right here. Duh. And in between, what should we go for? We'll go for maybe an oak log there. Mm, oak log there. That's looking pretty cool. Oh, we need nine lecterns because we need to put some here as well. And that actually, from, uh, from underneath, it looks wonderful. Doesn't it look great? I need to use lecterns much more often in my builds. I think that looks absolutely wonderful. Uh, okay, that's that so far. There we go. Um, over here, we'll be, we'll be disguising that hole uh, later on in the video. But let's have a quick look at what we've done so far. Yep, that's pretty good. Um, we can definitely have actually this corner come up as well. That come across, that come across, and some upside down spruce stairs as well. So yeah, good progress actually in the build. Next, we're gonna take on this section here, which is the innkeeper's room. And we're going to go for uh, oak stairs, oak fence, stripped spruce log, spruce stairs, stripped oak log, your choice of door, I've gone for dark oak, and then some spruce and oak slabs. First of all, we've got a window here, which is very simple. One, two, three, one, two, three, with your stripped, uh, beautiful stripped oak log, and then form it with an upside down oak stair and then an oak fence like that. We've got a few more of these windows to put in. Not quite as high. We've got one there, one there, one there, and one there. So that's these ones over here that we're making. As you can see, the start life with oak stairs upside down with oak fences on top. Same on this side, obviously. There we go. Then we've got the turn of stripped spruce log. A couple of them there, there, one there, 
and one there, looking mighty fine. Then we're going to be careful with our spruce stairs. I say careful because if you get that block and that block correct, I feel like you can't go wrong with this roof. Let's do the end of the roof first. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. So you've got six spruce stairs, and that's where the spruce stairs finish their job because we're going to go like that with upper spruce slabs and then one two three four like that just to finish things off this one in the middle can be brought all the way back as far as that as you can see that looks correct over there great now we're going to try and form our windows so we're going to go upside down either side of our window as you can see that's exactly what we should be doing upside down and upside down like that then it's a question of just putting correct the way ones in between correct the way up spruce stairs like that very simple we'll try the same thing over here so get that one and that one done first and i think it's super easy this one doesn't have a window over here so this gets continued right across like that so to finish off this window we're going to do one two three like that same on this side um one two three one two three like that with a beautiful spruce slab on top like that there we go do we have more than one spruce slab i think we do we have two spruce slabs i was just thinking there we need to have two of these slabs coming in like that then it's a question of oak so it's oak stairs there and there that should turn that corner nicely there and then just bring that across like that that turns three across here turning beautifully and that one there turns as well okay to finish this roof off obviously i think you've guessed it now it's just some simple beautiful oak bottom slabs up there like that same across here it's a nice little roof isn't it i love it there's other little, little things you could do um here if you wanted but I, don't, I, don't, I think it just looks absolutely fine the way it is if you wanted to be really really fancy as we've done kind of over here you could put in a smidgen more detail there under that window and if i'd done that over there I, I, i've disguised it with some bushes so it doesn't matter cool ah <laughs> one extra little roof complete yeah oh no look in here what do we do here i think it's simply yep some stripped oak along there like that looking pretty smart there we go job done okay next we're going to do this back wall here like this and just notice we're going to need to grab some of these as well stripped oak logs didn't put that in my list and we're also going to do this little window just there okay so let's grab the ingredients we're going to need i'll miss out the lamp um spruce trapdoor jungle trapdoor spruce fence gate spruce stairs spruce fence itself uh, oak trapdoor and extinguished uh, or distinguished whatever you like campfires as well okay let's start around uh, this corner here we're going to need to grab our stripped oak log and do three of these like that and then um, one there also in between we're going to go spruce fence like that and then spruce stairs and beautiful trapidoris maximus just like that above it we're going to go uh, more spruce stairs and this is where the the uh, campfires come in just like that we're going to need to grab a tool to extinguish them like that and then i'm going to go for spruce fences there and there and we're going to put the lantern hanging down just there on that one okay something very very similar over here on this middle one with just a slight variation so this starts off exactly the same with spruce stairs there and there really nice little window design I absolutely love it and then campfire campfire extinguish extinguish and then instead of the fences hanging down we've gone for a little variation here with some campfires that look like that looking like they're holding up this kind of awning 
above it. So I love that, absolutely love that. Okay, so we need to be a little bit more sneaky here with our spruce trap doors. We're gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then take that one out and put in a jungle trap door like that. <clears throat> and that same, same sort of thing is gonna go right here. Jungle trap door just there, cool. And round this corner as well, I believe, we're gonna do, yeah, exactly the same sort of thing. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then jungle trap door there. And what that does on the inside, it lets you put things here, doesn't it? But here, we can just do that. It creates a nice little bit of variation on the inside. A little bit of depth here. Like that, pretty straightforward, huh? So that is those walls all the way around the outside um, complete. Um, what I do have is quite a few planters to put on uh, as well. So spruce trap doors, your choice of plant. I've got, I'm using Stevens additional texture pack and I've got better leaves as well, which is why I've got these uh, birch leaves being yellow I absolutely love it. So if you've got a, a cool texture pack as well with bushy leaves then go ahead and do that But as you can see we've got um, a number of these leaves to put on so let me do one of them And it goes kind of like that right And then you stick your leaves in jungle on this side and then put on your choice of sign are going for beautiful blue warped sign like that so they we need we need ones there i'll just put the bushes down do, do, do. Uh, let's have some birch i love the birch and these ones here and we need quite a few over here as well oops do you know what it's actually easier to place the bushes first isn't it and then the trap doors afterwards. I should have thought of that. I should have thought of that. Let's get this done nice and quick then. Let's keep doing it on camera, me as well. Looks like we're gonna have a separate episode on furnishing. I'll give you guys some uh, variety, varieties of furnishing uh, on the inside. So I will bring out the furnishing video hot on the heels of this one. So get the tavern built and then look forward to doing either doing your own furnishing or following my furnishing video there we go so we've got a number of walls complete number of windows done some planters now it's ready for the chimney and this window here which is the outdoor staircase but just before we do the staircase and the chimney, I want to have a look at the front of the build here. As you can see, it should look just like this. So let's get busy. Um, we're gonna to need to grab some spruce trap doors, some barrels, spruce fences, gates, obviously lanterns, your choice of leaf, uh, campfire, and jungle trapidoris maximus. The jungle trap doors look really cool here, don't they? Just magnificent. I love how they look. So cool, such a nice block. There we go. Uh, the barrels go here and here, love that design. And then a couple of spruce fences on top just to lead us right up to this sort of height here. And then this is where we go for some spruce fence gates in between there like that. Oops. There we go, just about managed that. And then I've got another spruce gate here and a fence joining on. But as, you, as you can see, we've got a little hanging basket gonna be added on there very, very shortly indeed. So we need to add on our campfires. And as you can see, they stick out by one block and we should bring them in by three blocks, three blocks deep on your campfire, if that makes sense. And we've also got some more of these to put on like that one two three okay this is where the campfires come in so let's go along here like this gonna get smoky and they stick out by one we can extinguish that lot 
and then carry on. So we only want three rows of these. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's uh, three rows of nine, so 27 campfires to start off with, but you might not want to place them all. As you can see, I've actually integrated quite a lot of bushes into this design. I've come along somewhere like that for actually quite a lot of bushes. God, I love the yellow bushes. There we go. Cool. So I actually only needed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen campfires as it turns out. Uh, okay, let's grab some chain fence or just chain it's called, this chain. And we're going to go for, is it just one block of chain? One or two? Hmm. Looks like two blocks of chain. One, two, and then a bush and an iron trapdoor as well. The only iron trapdoor in the whole build for a little hanging basket. Looks absolutely brilliant. Something else you can do is replace this middle one here with a fence and that l lets you put a lantern on it. So we like that detail. Let's do the same over here. Little lantern hanging down there. And I guess actually, there we go. We could do one there. Also, great. Whew, good progress. Chimney time, and we're going to grab some cobblestone stairs, cobblestone blocks, uh, spruce trapdoors, and some campfires as well. So we head on round to the back here where we're going to be building our chimney. Um, this window may as well get blocked in, actually. We don't need that window there. This is definitely the one I'm building, yes. Okay. Um, so cobblestone stairs, we're going to go two correct the way up and then two upside down and surround them with one, two, three, four cobblestones. And you get that cool design. I like that design. It's a design you could use again and again, pretty much everywhere. We're gonna go one block there, one block there, and have your fire go in there. Okay, let's venture inside. We're gonna have a cobblestone stair there, there, and then three up here, upside down. One, two, three, like that. Then this is a sneaky block here. It's going to look like that, facing that way. And then when you turn it like that, boom, you get this beautiful little inlaid shape there. I love that, like that. And that's going to help to disguise the fireplace. We're going to have an upside down staircase right here, like that. And then we're going to have cobblestone stairs go there and there like that. Also here, <laughs> like that. Um, and then one more on here. No, we're going to have cobblestone stairs like that. And then we need to come up a number of blocks here. So let me get this actually counted here. I need to count this. So we're going to have one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight blocks on top of the upside down stair. So we've got one, two already, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is where you get sneaky. That's how you generate the smoke and you just wrap some trap doors around it like this. Get rid of these ones. Do like that, there we go. Pretty cool, huh? I like that. I really like that design indeed. So that is the chimney complete. Now we need to get our little side staircase here done. Well, I've got the ingredients laid out again. Grab some jungle trapdoor, spruce trapdoor, campfire, spruce slabs, and spruce stairs. Now, I forgot to do a couple of things. I forgot to put these campfires along here. So let's get them done to start with. Uh, we need to extinguish them. Extinguish, distinguish, distinguish. <laughs> uh, I've been experimenting with this spruce trapdoor here. Look, what do you think? I think the jungle trapdoors look better than the spruce trapdoors. And I forgot to put these little smidgens of detail in, but I'm glad I forgot because I kind of 
thought about it again and yeah look they look so much better so over here you need to add in some jungle trap doors like that and now we're ready i think we're ready for our side staircase so let's get our first block laid the first block laid needs to go there that's very very important so hmm, well a couple of spruce slabs here and here and then we can put our first staircase and once you get that in place i think it's pretty easy so i think there's two upside down staircases visible as you can see over there two of them visible and then four stairs up the way one two three four stairs up the way like that and that gets us right yeah right to there perfect okay cool 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 we are doing this we are doing this um we need to stop people falling off here so we're going to go one two three four like that and also hmm, awkward we need to go see that one's kind of in the way of me placing the block let me just temporarily take that out the way do that there we go, excellent. And then we just build up our trap doors to protect people from falling off these external staircases. So I love the external staircase. What a, what a great feature. You have to go from the bar uh, area, outside, maybe in the rain, to get to your room upstairs, where it is kind of the cheap rooms uh, upstairs. Oh, we need, we need you there, I think. And there we go, that's pretty much it. Let's block off the sides there like that. Uh, and there we have it. And now on the inside here, we can do that, that, that. That's going to be a door. Um, that one and that one, I think, is going to be disguised with some furniture um, later on in the build. Okay, so we'll leave that like that. So that is the staircase done. So what is left? We've got this roof to do and we've got this roof to do. The furnishing will be in a separate video. Yeah, we're doing, oh, we're gonna do the stairs as well and this wall. Okay, let's do this. Again, I've got the ingredients laid out. We're gonna start with this rather complicated roof over here and then just join it onto that one later on. I'm gonna do one quarter of the roof because all four quarters are exactly the same. Spruce stairs, spruce slabs, oak planks, oak slabs, uh, a mossy stone brick wall on top and a spruce fence on top, oak logs and stripped oak log. Let's start with the oak logs. Um, we're gonna have to have three of these. Yep, three of these right in the middles. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, Oh, not a corner, isn't it? One, two, three, and one, two, three, like that. Cool. I've just noticed we don't have a floor. <laughs> so let's add in oak slabs here, upper oak slabs here to form a floor here. And then we're going to go for these stripped oak logs. No, in fact, we're going to go for oak planks in the corners, first of all like that and then stripped oak log we're going to go uh, one two three one two like that i think that's going to work out nicely and we can carve in doors and windows into these uh later on as need be so it's one two three one two 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 obviously that's going to be a door one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, we'll put uh, windows into these a little bit later on. So now it's the turn of the fairly complicated roof. I'm going to do one quarter of the roof, and then it's up to you guys to do the other quarters. So um, I'm going to go there, there, like that, there, and there to start off with. So that's a pretty straightforward uh, beginning, apart from that's a mistake. <laughs> So it's there and there, like that. There we go. And then we've got full blocks there of oak. And then we're going to have one, two, three bits of oak slab come across there. And they're going to join up with actually some spruce slabs, which are going to go just there. And underneath them, we can go for upside down spruce stairs like that there we go pretty straightforward so far 
hopefully, hopefully. Uh, then we're going to go one, two on our spruce slabs like that. And then just kind of bring another row of these oak slabs across there like that. So, so far it should look exactly like that. We do have more of these oak slabs to put in there also. That looks pretty smart. And in fact, we can go for more of these. Just finish these off like that. Like that. It should look just like that. Oh, one escaped. There we go. So if I hold the camera there, you should be able to see exactly what I have just completed. Here we're going to go one, two, one, two, and then just lead this up and over. So one, two, three, like that. And then that one goes there. And that one can just be a solid block in the middle. So same across here, we're going to go there. Um, that comes up. <laughs> that comes up there like that. In fact, there's no reason why that can't just be a solid block, right? Like that. No reason why not. And then what have we got? We've got that one there. Hmm. Gotta just be have a steady hand here. We need to get this up like that. And that one up there like that. There we go. And we're heading towards our central block here, which is gonna have a, a mossy stone brick wall on the top and a spruce fence. So yeah, you need to do that on actually all the other three quarters. Be right back when that is done. And there we go, that's what it looks like all the way around. Um, I've also taken time to carve out windows there and there. Windows there and there, that's where there's gonna be the door. And as you can see inside here, it's pretty nice. We'll have room for four rooms. And we've got windows there and there I've carved out as well off camera. Okay, now it's the turn for this roof here. And I was looking at this and I realized I put these bushes in front of a bit of an architectural feature. So maybe you don't want to have bushes in front of that little architectural feature. I think that's probably um, not a very good idea uh, at all. So the ingredients for this section are very simple. Spruce stairs, stripped oak log, spruce slab, and we'll try and get that lantern architectural feature uh, put in as well. So we're going to start on the end here. We're going to go with five stripped oak logs like that. And we need one in the middle and I've taken care to lay them on their sides. Key block here, spruce stair, spruce stair, just like that. And we'll have a couple of these coming along. Let's do three coming along like that. One, two, three. And then we can turn our attention back to this side here. Again, we're going to go for slabs this time. So it's one, two, one, two. And then we go up, one, one, and then just finish it off with an upper and a lower slab just like that. And then all we need to do is bring these along the way. So we're going to go along the way like that. And I think that just sort of slots nicely into that one there. So you can see we've got a little bit of... A little bit of... Uh, work to do here bring this along and that can just actually just simply cover that one so that's not too bad you could even bring it in there if you want probably that's a good idea this one can come along and just integrate nicely probably just leave it like that or you could make that one a full block probably that makes more sense and then this one comes along that one's pretty straightforward um this one hopefully pretty straightforward as well yeah not too bad that kind of works out um so now we have our little feature window to do so yeah we need to do that so we need to turn that one like that and then put that one upside down get rid of some of these bushes that are kind of in the way and then it's um slab 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 and then under here we can go boom like that, and then just bring, um, how do we do that again? We, we need to turn that one like that, and then bring them along. Oh boy, it's cramped. It is cramped working in here. There we go, just about managed that. I've turned that one, never mind. You guys can fix that yourself. And that can just, oops, go like that. 
yeah, that's fine. And then I guess that one comes along there like that. So we've got a little bit of a gap there. So what do we do? Hmm. What do we do over here with that gap? I think we just put another block, another block in there. Okay. So that's pretty straightforward. Like that. There we go. Cool. So just need to do the front yard and we are done with uh, this tutorial. Furnishing will be in the next video. Okay, staircase time. So for this, you're gonna need some podzo. Choice of door. I've got jungle signs. Where do they go again? Oh, I put the sign up there for Dr. Four Track Tavern. Don't need that, Ugh. because he sponsored it. He made a donation during a Twitch stream. So basically he is sponsoring this entire tavern. <laughs> Kind of. Oak log, barrel, and spruce stair. So we're going to go for a couple of spruce stairs here and here. Like that. And then, do we not have trapdoors? We needed to pick up trapdoors as well. So where have I got trapdoors? Here we go. Spruce trapdoors should have been on our list. There we go. And they're going to go one and two just like so. And from that, we can lead the stairs down. So it's one, two, uh, one, two on the stairs like that. And at that point here, we can go, hmm, what should we go for? Let's go for spruce trapdoors again. I didn't do this in the actual build, but um, I think that looks quite cool actually. And then you go like that, there we go. Um, more trapdoors can go on to protect people from falling off the stairs. So we're gonna go one, to stop you falling off like so and then one more here I think yeah one more right there that uh, no in fact that one's gonna go there this gets a little bit confusing there we go and then that one goes there stops you falling off you see cool designs cool designs hopefully it's cool designs that one goes there like that and then one, two, three, like that. And then we'll lead those two across there like that. We've got plenty of room underneath for barrels and storage. That will be in the furnishing video when we do the underneath of the stairs. Right here, we're gonna go one, two, uh, three. And then for really kind of no reason at all, we're gonna put podzel there because I wanna just cover up the podzel. I need to move that trap there, trap door there. And we just cover up that podzel. And I just put um, dark oak leaves in it, but you could actually, because it's podzel, you could actually put maybe some rose bushes. We'd actually add a bit of color to the front of the build, but I'm loving bushes with the warped trap door these days. It's kind of my, it's kind of the fashion, it's the Minecraft fashion. <laughs> that can go there, there, and there, 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 and there there and then I guess you could disguise that underneath if you wanted as well maybe we could do a better job on this like that and like that that looks pretty cool and then you could disguise that underneath of the pods all like that bit of an improvement on the fly love it per fly um, put a little bit of surface there and then just make these into a nice door as well for our dormitory so this is our dormitory have you been in here before yet I don't know um, and then we need a little door. Maybe a door actually could just stick out a little touch there. So we've got a staircase, we've got a door. Now we need our surrounding walls, uh, as you can see. Let's grab the ingredients for them. And for this, you're gonna need to grab, obviously, some stone brick walls. We've got spruce slabs and stairs. We've got a couple of trap doors, crimson and birch. I've chosen some polished and these would have uh, a random flower pot and some optional blocks here. We've got uh, stone buttons and an actual stone kind of player head. If you can get hold of one of them, very, very cool indeed. So onto these red blocks here, we're gonna place the polished and the azurecite like that and then over here and here kind of optional buttons on the outside of them if you want for a smidgen of detail stone brick walls and two stone brick walls one two one two to form two gates kind of a gate for the patrons to come into your pub and kind of a gate for people kind of leading their horses into the stables as well actually we could bring that down as well in the stables just forgot about that 
Uh, right, so what we need is our spruce slabs. So we're going to go um, slab. How does this one work again? Slab? Slab. Oh, yeah. And then <clears throat> what we want actually is that and that. So it's maybe easier to do them first and the slabs afterwards. So that goes there like that, kind of a bit of a weird design. And then on these ones, it's a bit easier because you just go spruce there, spruce there, upside down, upside down. And the rest of it is just simply some spruce slabs, just like so. And then what I did with the crimson trapdoor, where did I put that? Somewhere mm, like that. This is, to re this is to represent kind of a signpost, bit of a signpost like that. And uh, there we go. That's pretty much the build done. I'm going to leave it right there. Um, let me show you the furnishing that we put in. We've got some gates. We've got some posts and some hay. We've got barrels under there. We've got barrels and kind of a big wine barrel there. We've got beds in here. We've changed that support to, to books. Uh, we've got plenty of lanterns, obviously. We've put plenty of coarse dirt down inside we've got the bar kind of arranged like this i should probably just to complete this tutorial do pick up those and go into this room and show you that we just pick up these as well so a smidgen of furnishing in this video but really the furnishing is going to be in a separate a separate video but i will show you everything we've come up with um upstairs very bad to show you one room up here uh, as well. I guess we should really take our time to put in some trap doors up here. Don't forget to do your windows up here like that. I have a feeling there's a block missing in there. Let's have a quick, just before we do the final touches. Yeah, I think it's better to fill those ones in, isn't it? Much better to fill them and then you get a block there above the door and above the window so don't forget to put a door right there uh, what was I gonna do oh yes I was gonna just for completeness cover up this sneaky you need to be sneaky here and cover this up as if these guys are reading a book maybe and then through here um, all I did was cover that up like that there we go kind of cool huh so that is it. It's bare. It's empty. There's not even any doors which need to go. You need to put in your doors. I'm going to do that on the furnishing video. As you can see, we've got doorways to go in. You could manage them, right? And we've got lanterns to hang down. Loads of furnishing to do. Let me show you some other furnishing designs that we came up with as well. So that's the original design there. We had, I think this is by Uki, an alternative uh, furnishing design here. We'll show you this in the next video as well, but you can see there's lots and lots of options you can actually do. You can put a, you can put a tree um, and upstairs you can have a bar like this. This is kind of the original design, of one, of the, one of the original designs as well. Very, very cool as well. There's some other designs over here with some beautiful crimson fence gates actually like that wish i'd thought of that um we've got uh, i think this is by blue too he has got a bar downstairs now that's a clever idea isn't it to have the bar actually downstairs and then upstairs is where the the rooms are for rent and for the people who want to maybe have an office here and this is maybe where the the innkeeper would live as well and i think this has got an upstairs as well to some more rooms as well with some beds in so there's huge amounts of variation you can do in terms of the furnishing on the inside really quite incredible what uh, the builders came up with here and i think this is is this potato or is this uki i can't remember who did what guys put your names on your builds because i've within a day i've forgotten who did which design this is really really cool indeed i will know for the next video i'll know for the uh for the furnishing video. I think this is Pat along here to come up with again yet another kind of design with a staircase going up like this. And it's pretty much Pat to come up with these these rooms up here. So very, very clever. We've kind of combined all our ideas.
together. Guys, um, let me go back home to where I was and bid you goodbye. Thank you so, so much for watching. That is the end of this tutorial. There'll be another part where we do the furnishing and I will see you next time. Ciao, ciao. When the blocks be with you.